Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. We get the Final Fantasy banner event on this week. So my prediction is a little bit miss, okay? I think we should get the near banner first because yeah, we just finished the Final Fantasy 12 forming event. But here we go. So let's talk about the characters overview like usual. Before we begin, remember that take the info with a grain of salt. I do this overview based on Japanese wiki so it may be different or wrongly interpreted. Let's start with 5 stars based on the banner. The first is Mercenary Ramza. He is a tanker and attacker hybrid. As a tanker, he is on par with Unawakened Cecile because Ramza also has 75% to protect a life from the enemy attack. Another amazing feature he has is he is immune to all ailments except for ailments which not appear on stat screen such as stop and friends. This is very useful especially because he learns as Tsunaga so he can recover other from ailments easily. He also get global exclusive skills which will boost his defense and spirit when equipped like shield. I'm not sure how much, I will talk more about it on his review video later. He also has good attacking skill, it is called Blade of Justice, which has 8 hits. It has exact same frame as Fun's Assault Strike, so you can chain with him easily. The damage is not top tier though. It deals only 3.33 after defense ignore. But it is still nice to have an attacker who able to protect other members. I believe it also have damage mitigation like Cecil Sainly Wall. Okay, so I think he is more safe while he is tanking. He is like Rich Man's version of Wrestler. So if you hate Wrestler, you may not like Mercenary Ramza so much, okay? Because he is same, has hybrid role. His trust master reward is good for hybrid attackers such as Fry Evia who need boost on bot attack and magic. Let's move to the second character, like the leader. Yep, finally we get a lightning element to our Landu family. So he is lightning or thunder Landu, okay? He has same problem like Fallen where you probably need to add lightning element first to your weapon because right now i think the only good weapon that has lightning element is sparky but night dalita doesn't use gun okay so we kind of run, run out of weapon choice here also like fallen the attacking and thunder elemental imperial skill are separated so yeah, pretty much like Fallen. His trust measure reward is very good for your tanker. So I can say that he is the real MVP on this banner. Because my opinion, he is better than Mercenary Ramza. So please God, can I get him now? I have gotten 4 Delita, so maybe the 5th is the Nike version. I deserve it, right? Enough for 5 stars based on this banner. We get massive 4 stars base hero lineup this time. The first is Melia Duel. She is um, kind of bad. She is breaker and supporter on this game. She can be good if you don't have Warrior of Light, but if you have him, then she probably doesn't have any place in your team. Because from what I see on the Japanese wiki, Warrior of Light debuff are much superior compared to her. She gets a special buff on the global. So, yeah. She able to give re-raise stats on one ally, so she is maybe useful for Aigayon trial. So um, her trust master reward is also bad. I prefer Alma's trust master reward instead of this one. The second four stars base is Oran. He is the supporter on this game. He is kind of niche character because his best skill is only useful when you need to buff your elemental resistance. It also buff your spirit at the same time, so it is pretty good. But if you already have Riku, Tilit, or other all elemental buffer, you won't need him. 
He also able to become MP battery for your party except for himself, which is stupid because unlike Ling, he doesn't have any MP regen passive or active skills. So he will run out of MP before you see him begging you for a mega eater. He gets buff in the global. So he get dual cast, but I don't think it will matter much. He learned some nice magic such as Protect Ga, Shield Ga, and Meteor. So yeah, it is maybe nice for new players who miss Yistola, but definitely not that useful for those who have gotten Yistola. His trust master reward is also bad. It gives you 40% damage reduction to one ally. So stay away from this trust master reward. It is bad trust master reward, okay? The next is my waifu, Agrias. For you who have subscribed to me for a long time, you know that I always adore her. Finally, she gets her 6 stars form, which is good. She will get Divine Reunion like Orlando, but it is not as powerful as Orlando's Divine Reunion. You need to wait her abilities awakening in order to make her on par with Orlando. However, she is still nice. I believe veteran players already have her right now, so it is definitely nice for us because we can use her to get bonus points on this event. And also, we don't need to yeah, try to get her by fighting through this massive 4 stars based on this banner. Her trash master reward is also good, but maybe not an urgent since we already have Apocalypse, a free sword with only 9 less attack than save the queen. The last 4 stars base is Gavgarian. Well, he's bad. He is a finisher and used his health to damage the enemy. He is like poor man's Dark Knight Cecil. So yeah, he can synergize well with Dark Knight Cecil. But without Dark Knight Cecil, he is simply an average attacker. In my opinion, he can be considered a troll. But his trust master reward is one of the best trust master reward for physical attacker. So there is nothing wrong if you get him. Okay. The last is three stars base Alma. I don't need to say a lot about her. She's only max at five stars. Her trust master reward is kind of good, but no need to strive to get it because her rate without the banner is already high. Okay, based on my experience. Also, you can get Siren's Rope from the game, which is better than this. It is just my opinion though. So those are all characters on this banner. Now, should you summon them? Let me say this. Honestly, okay, in my opinion, there are only two good units on this banner. Naik Delita and Agrias. Mercenary Ramza is good, but not worth to burn your tickets and lapis. All those 4 stars base are made to guard Agrias. Sure, they have some use, okay, but they are pretty niche. But yeah, since this is farming event, like it or not, you will need to have some of these characters on your party. So my suggestion for you is summon once or twice daily. If you don't have any bonus units mentioned here, but if you already have Gafgarian and Agrias and even Oma, maybe you don't want to spend any tickets or lapis on this banner. This applies to me, okay? Right now, I have 3 Agrias and 3 Gafgarian. So, I will be able to get a lot of bonus from this farming event even without summoning anything. So, if your situation is same like me, Right now, our focus is to train, so Agrias able to become 6 stars as soon as possible when this event is available. We should be glad to Gami because they make this event before near banner. This means we can use 10 tickets from King Mok for upcoming near banner. So yep, okay, enough about the characters on this banner. So. Let's not summon or if you already have some bonus units on your party, okay? Let's talk about the boss, okay? The event now. This is farming event, so it won't be that hard. Next week, 
we will get the real trial but let's talk about that on the next week so tip number one the bosses can be inflicted with full break so make sure you have the buffer on your party Agrias is very good because she gives bonus has full break and able to attack very good at the same time so your focus i have said this before is train that agrias okay save your gigantuar and materials so you able to awaken her on thursday and be ready on friday tip number two if you debuff ultima then she able to counter you with random ailment i'm not sure how dangerous it is but if it is too dangerous then it might be better not to debuff her this leads to tip number three make sure you have spirit buff because they attack a lot using magical attack so i might use my enhanced the leader because his his spirit buff is very good 65 percent tip number four equip diablos okay because he has demon and human killers so you will deal a lot of damage if you equip him on your main attacker tip number five beware of earth and like elemental weapon because ultima resists against earth and the demon resists against like element so please no excalibur and artisan so yep i think that's all you need to know i will talk more about it later on the battle video leave a comment if you have any question opinion about this banner also please share how many tickets or lapis you plan to spend on this banner so yeah okay thank you very much for watching and see you on the next video bye bye